perfection. That's the key, me boy. The key. Key to your salvation. Key to truth. Love. Man. Man is evil. Key to your curse. Key to your death. And here's your can't escape. No way. I won't allow it. Not yet. Come now. You must remember. It was the summer of 1920. And you came wandering. The moon child. Number seven. As expected. Painting? Ah, yes. Young men. Young, virile men. Looking for a subject, an object, an answer to a lifelong fray. Searching for something, anything. The mold and wax, boiled in oil, plain clay, they often come this way. You, you should uh, use this, use this chalk. Right there and right there. No, no, no. Now listen. If I listened to every crazy old hermit who comes out of nowhere, I'd never get my sketches finished. Temper, temper. Nice, hot temper, sharp and quick. That's good, that's good. Why don't you start small? Or just paint the bells instead of the whole mission. Well, you could do marvelous work with those bells. Well, now, see here. If you start too big, you miss the small detail. Why? The old man and his daughter, where are they? Wait a minute. What are you talking about? First the bells, and now the old man and his daughter? Down the aisle, back down yonder. Ah, in the ruins. You know about that painting, too? No. Oh, I've known about that painting for a long, long time. Old man and his daughter. Hmm. Who are you, anyway? A wayfarer like yourself. A walker. A gentleman walker of the world, what I like to think. Walker of the world? Mr. Walker, at your service. But more a poet, a scribe. A storyteller, mystic legends, all that sort of thing. And I copy them all down in here. I'm an artist like yourself. You, a keeper of images. I, a keeper of words. Words. Yes, I'm getting the general idea. Oh, but my profession is beside the point. Ah, uh, yes, young artist. You have powers far, far beyond mere mortal man. It's your interest that counts. Uh, there are treasures in that mission that your candles will never believe. Only it's not a mission anymore. Now it's a hotel. That's where they have the bell. You're interested. You're intrigued. You can see yourself sketching the bells, etching them in. Yeah. Let's look at it first hand. First hand. There is eternity in your fingertips. Mine, too. Oh, leave the rest there. It's safe. Not a mortal in miles. No, oh, no, 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 no. He's just in homunculus. You can't follow him. It's this way. A hole in the brambles I found a long time. Punch through the natural barrier phenomenon. Or is a mistake, I'm sure. A mistake. But then you see, I'm a madman. At least that's what they think. Madmen, you know, have always been privileged sons.
Daily Wire. Your quarry. The Mission Hotel. This is amazing, Mr. Walker. This place is strange. It's the architecture. I've never seen anything like it before. Better watch out for your head. Those gargoyles, they're dangerous. They're rotten. If you get under them, they might crumble and take your head away. Those gargoyles will stay where they are. They know their places. They're only stone. <laughs> As you come out in the middle of the patio, the place is crumbling to dust. It's rotting, crumbling gargoyles indeed. We've just had the entire mission refortified. So you're impressed with our little treasure house? A soldier? Student. He's a student. Student? Not a soldier? Not a military man? Pastel. He's a pastel student student of pastels. This is quite an art gallery. Oh, for a palace in the middle of nowhere. Don't you have something else to do? You know you have no rights here. Whisht. Allow me to introduce the distinguished manager of this very, very fine hotel. You'll find him a most responsible, efficient, and courteous fellow. Manager. Honored to have you with us. Very honored, indeed. Ask him to stay. Paint the bell, the cathedral, the fountain. Fountain? Ah, yes, art. Come. Go ahead, be boy. Read your eyeballs out. You'll go blind with excitement. There's nothing like a little graphic demonstration to whet the optic nerve. Come. Absolutely amazing. Merely an illusion, boy. What? The devil's work. Optical illusion. No. The sun on the brick caused it, boy. No. No. I know it's unbelievable, but I saw gold in there. Ah. Gold? Yes. Merely an illusion, boy. Now, won't you quarter with us, boy? We'd be very honored to have you. Very honored indeed. Yes, I'll stay here. I'll stay. I'll stay. And paint the bells? I'll tell him what he can paint. I make the rules here, boy. Come now. Follow me. Now you've got the point me, that. Paint the bells. What? Your coming will illuminate this old rancho like a grand, grand idea. So light your dark shutters. Set the lamp fires aglow. Think of it. First guest of the season. Why, they've opened the door just for you. Glad you've come back. Look to the bells up there. Register here, student. Just your name and birth date. That'll be enough. Birth date? Why a birth date? I've never had to sign a birth date before. It's a rule of this hotel. Oh. Did you make up all these rules? Don't do that. Just sign. There's no harm in signing your birthday, young man. Let's not make an ocean out of an ink spot. Birthdays are natural enough. Everyone has one. Why not use them instead of names? I'm in charge here. Sir, the 
trap. Moonchild. Steadfast, loyal, tried and true. Sensitive as shades of fine and dew. Changing as the moon, the tides, the weather too. But most of all, loving. That's you. That's you. The first number is seven. Number seven looks to. You there. Homunculus. Pick up that rubble. I'll pick up the rubble. Noble gesture, don't you think? Now I know he's a moon child. See? Yeah. Come, the homunculus. Student, I'll take you to your quarters. Student, I said, follow me. You really shouldn't pay too much mind to that old walker. He's a bit strange. Loco in la cabeza, as they say. He's been wandering in the outback too long. Got a bad case of the sun. Burned his brains to chuckle mush. I understand he was shot in the head by a wild Indian. And then... Speaking out against thy neighbor. I thought calumny was beneath a stately and noble, clean. Aristocrat. <laughs> Who are you, boy? Moonchild, number seven. The zodiac numbers, pagan worship. Has he been cleansed in the proper path of righteousness? You don't look blessed to me, boy. Let me see the palms of your hand. What do you have under those boats? A set of holes? Stop it! Stop it! Moonchild, number seven. He's our ward. Sometimes I think you have the brains of a jackass! Stop! Halt! You can't go home, boy. You are home. You have good food here. Why? Everything necessary for a cloistered life. Meditation within these walls, that's the key. Give yourself over to silence. Don't listen to this bloated one, boy. There is no magic formula. Come. Come, I'll show you the answer. Who is upstaging me? Don't listen to him, boy. He'll lead you to the devil. No flowery battle. Only I am the way. No, no, over there, over there. Now let some fresh air and sunlight into this room. Smells as if it had been closed for ages. Dangles are more. The great wars, riding down on those cannibals. Pikes and armor flashing. These are your quarters. You'll be well taken care of. Welcome to a humble artist's abode. Well, maybe not so humble. Come on, guys, what have you got there? What is it you have there? Let me see those. Are those sketches of what? The bells? Nothing. None of this is finished. Couldn't be in love. There's never love yet. You don't have a love yet, do you? No. No. Look at that. I warned you about this sort of thing. Cannonless and filth don't mix. Grotesque as mud in a white house, I call. That's not the way to hang them. Listen! You people certainly have a lot of ideas about me, don't you? How I dress, how I hang my clothes, how I wear my clothes. Oh, this should look good on you. Wear it to mess. Just your style. 1800 sharp. What else do you know about that? Do you know about this? And this? Do you 
know about this? But I, we know all about those. You! Well, Pastel Stewart, it's really not too hard to figure out. And you! Never done this before. Well, all of you are. All of us. All of us are what? What? Doomed? Now that we have you properly settled in, we can't possibly be doomed. His time starts now. Who are you? You know who we are. You won't allow that, will you? A soldier. Saturn is black with death. That will be all. Will be all that will be all. Mess call, 1800. But I don't like being forced. Magnificent, aren't they? It's, uh, it's almost as, as if they had a life of their own. Yes, it is. So many tones from one bell. Oh, varieties of sweet music. Like, Life itself. You think that life itself is filled with sweet music? Like the bells? Like your art? Life is certainly, but my art? No, no, it's turned a bit sour. <laughs> the trick is to sweeten the sour. It's all in the planning. A man of true learning is one who accepts new horizons. Sometimes we feel even more than we can see. We live, love, 
Only then do we know with our hearts and souls. You speak just like the others. Live, love, hearts and souls. You all use the same words. Words. Like those others, I speak the same things. But unlike those others, I don't mean the same things. Yes, but like those others, you... You seem to know my thoughts before I have a chance to speak them. Deja vu. Maybe you've been here before. Maybe we both have. I'm an old man. Strange to many, familiar to few. You know, it's very strange. You, those other people, you all seem to know so much about me. My reasons for coming here, for doing what I do. But yet, you speak in riddles. Some in insane riddles. I don't speak in riddles. I'm, I'm talking about your search. I'm talking about your search for perfection. And this search for perfection is something we both have in common. My workroom is below. Please come there tomorrow. Do you know her? Who told you to come here? Who was it, boy? Which one? Which one? Uh, he's out there now, isn't he? I'll show him his guts. No! It was no one. It was... It was the... Who else could it? Something. Something. Just 
really shouldn't be here, my son. You're only a postulate. You must wait for my guidance. Be patient. And you didn't see anything here, did you? No. No, I didn't see anything. I've been fasting too long. I'm hungry. You're always hungry. Stand up, student. You're kneeling to the wrong altar. This is not your place. Stand up, boy. I said stand up. You know, you really shouldn't be talking to strangers. Leading me? Making reconnaissance around this old mission without a proper escort. And especially following elusive spirits on the roof. The girl. You didn't think I saw. You see, these bastions are most dangerous. Why, you might stay. Stumble in the dark, slip off some edge. I'm a most unfortunate victim. We wouldn't want that to happen to our first ward of the season. But we. He's a demon. He'll trick your mind. Yes, and release all the other demons within. Far, far back within. Get out, you're foul in the air. Hey, student. You have no rights. He's only here to guard the mission. Yes, so you can save it. Save the mission. Save the people. Save... Me? <laughs> me? That's funny, boy. Are you fat? Dinner is served. Good. Good food. that we give up. Give unto us this day. For we are the children. My Father, The elixir of life, to your health, a long and most enjoyable stay. I think a toast is in order. The elixir of life, to your health. Long and most enjoyable stay. In that case, what do you think about death? Fine dinner conversation. 
What is this? What are you people talking about? Death. Death. You know about death, don't you? What do you think it's like? It's... Have any idea? Death? He doesn't want to talk of death. He wants to talk of life. Well, I want to talk about death. And I want to know what he thinks about it now. Now tell me, without any fantasy. Tell me. What's in your soul? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe it's not death at all. Yes. How can death not be death? It's absurd. Shut up. No. It's not death at all. It's more like a dream. It's a dream that goes on and on and on. And it never stops. Something changes, something happens. What? The dreamer wakes up again. The dreamer wakes up. Yes. The dreamer awakens to God. No. The dreamer awakens to truth. God is the truth. I won't stand for this.
way for everybody. I see you're up bright and early in this bright, fine morning. <laughs> up and up none too soon. Let you and I take breaks. Wash the taste of sleep from your mouth. I've got big plans for you today, big plans. Why is there summer today, my boy? Unpleasant dreams? Time is short. I saw that girl. She came to ah, me. Ah, she came. <laughs> Love, romance, courting. The tunes of spring. Meeting time for the birds and the beasts. Oh, I didn't mean that. Oh, it's oh. a nightmare, all right, but... <laughs> Only your imagination. He'll tell you. Tell him. Dreams. Yes, dreams. Harmless phantasms. Vision. Go on. Go on. Go on. No, it was real. It was a nightmare, but real. I can't remember exactly, but I saw the girl and someone else. Bed. It's too firm. Far too firm. Feels like a boy. No, no, no. It's not the bed. I saw the girl. She's... I'm going to get out of here. And it ain't just like that. Never happened. Never happened. No, it hasn't. I'll take those. Your time is definitely short. You just lost three hours. The more time I spend around here, the more I lose track of time. Days seem like years. Being forced to change my mind, being turned into dust. Dust? An interesting thought. I feel like I've aged a hundred years here. Dust, maybe. But time? Well, now, you've underestimated that. I have. I've got great plans for your second day. Great plans. You're supposed to meet the golden man. The man on the roof with the bells. You're supposed to meet him today. What, what was that you called him? It's something I've heard before, somewhere a long time ago. Deja vu. Yes, yes, I, I want to see that man again. Good, 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 good. That should be our plan for today. Oh, wait, wait, it's coming back. No, not so fast, not so fast. Whirlpools take a long time to drown a man, and longer still to churn back the dead. Enough of that. You have good taste for a student. I'd like to have that drawing. We'll call a payment for your lodging. It's not finished yet. It's finished enough for me. I'll take it as it is. I have to finish it. Why is that drawing so important to you? Homunculus, what have you got there? Give it to me. Go to your post. So, 
You want to finish that like this? N no! <laughs> you really are a terrible artist. Too much charcoal there. The lines are all wrong. Too much color in the hair. What do you know? Too much color. Lines are crude. It's inferior. What right do you have to criticize my work? What the hell do you know about art? What the hell, hell. do you... Hell. Now we're getting someplace. I know a great deal about art. In my profession, we use the arts. Metal, leather, stone. The art of conquering, the art of controlling. The art of teaching war. But then war is not a learned thing. Hey, that's good. Uh, you might play up my ideals a little. For posterity. Cotton, your part, huh? Is that a bribe or a threat? Call it what you like, a uh, suggestion. I write only neutral, unbiased reportage. As you know, war is man. You realize that. Why don't you let him speak? You bastardize words. War destroys man. War destroys art. It's here. Here is your true art. Looks like the work of a Beelzebub to me. But, come and breakfast. I want to talk to you again, my son. He's already taken it with me. Then he's still hungry. Come. Take some more. It's good. Good, good. Hurry. You'll miss out. You know. <laughs> Ripe as nature's honey. But if you continue this sort of thing, my son, demons lead to the stake. How could you speak of such matters with your mouth full of garbage and dung? Protected by your fat robes and your fat mind and your fat mouth. How dare you? Give it back, you recruit. The only church you preach from is this one. Rude. That's evidence, you animal. I'll have you burned in hell. Actually, they can sometimes be the best of friends. Lord knows they've been... Uh, keep out of this, Secretary. Your only function is to scribble. That's the sort of remark that will get you an ink blot on the page of time. Holy evidence. It was holy evidence. You and your secret ceremonies disgust me. My breakfast is ruined. Have some breakfast. It's oh. not infantile bickering. We're only doing... You'll understand. Well, I can't wait for that. That's your problem, isn't it? You don't wait for anything. Well, if death is a dream, then what is life? Answer me, what is life? I don't know. And the longer I am here, the less I do know. All right. Have it your way. But I've warned you. Impatience. Is life God or man? Say God. Life is me. Me. I am life. Just me. Nothing else. Me. You. Not God. 
I knew it. You've been talking to that white-haired, hedonist, sorcerer, alchemist, goldmonger, bastard, heretic, dog! He shuns the true path, my true path, that one. sins of the flesh, boy. Don't be taken in. Look at her. No, don't look at her. Her clothing clings to every evil nook and cranny, every curve and crevice, the cleavage. Oh, cleavage. Soft, pale white body, long, slender arms, warm, full hips, her hands up your spine, round, firm buttocks, ripe breasts, flesh against flesh. Harlot! I don't feel good. Interesting twist. Daughter of Satan, how proud you are. Sit profane, our good, pure food. <laughs> Taking away your senses. You and your black outlaw father. Get away from her, Acolyte. Before I cut your throat. No. No violence. Let her confess her strange ways. Let her repent before judgment. This is judgment, pig. If you don't let her be. Oh, oh, oh. She won't speak the loving words you long to hear. Fantastic, fantastic. She won't speak anything, the harlot. It's you. You and your infernal preaching. I've given you your life. God preserve us. The devil rides in women's loins. Go on, go on. Preserve I've given your father us. his life. The devil rides in women's loins. Mother and Queen I of can Harvey. take it away. She won't. Heart of Sissy! Alchemist? And you think you can make gold? You can't create gold. Not gold, but golden life. I will show you the, the secrets of the blessed stone and the creation of new life. New life? But how can you create new life? If you believe, you can. But not gold as Others think, but go to the mind and spirit. Look not to material gains, but look within yourself. Seek the way to perfection. Show me the way. The way that is the truth. You are the way. You 
are the path. Man alone with God. Yes. Yes, I've known this before. And now I know it again. And above all, cast off this evil shadow that pursues your being. That's what I've been feeling just beyond my vision. It's not a dream. It's an evil shadow. It's my evil shadow. My death. Now you understand the reason for your existence. Like the rest, you belong to the age. Amen. Union with another, we find strength and enlightenment. So that if you love knowledge, you always have and clap your hands. Clasp hands in the eternal circle. The circle. For all things are one in the end of unity. All things one in endless unity. I've known this before. As I have known you. We have loved but never touched. We have felt each other in our hearts but never spoken. In the summer of my first memory, I loved you. And I have loved you every summer since. Around this holy fire, this fire which gives neither sin nor destruction. And to you, we unite the moon and the sun. My daughter of the Heir of my son of the earth. My knowledge, my work, my blood, my life.
watch over this inquisition and guide us in our judgment. and man and beast, like history's dust time repeats, sands are drained, the cycle complete. Most holy grant my prison. I beg your indulgence. This young man is a trifle nervous after his recent journey and a long journey back. Longer than most, perhaps. After all, a hundred and fifty years is quite a bit of a path to travel in but three turns of the glass. here to do God's work. And you've come here to record. Yes. Yes. My name is Gavilan. Remember who you are, Gavilan. You're bound to us now. How long have you followed it here? I don't know this priest. He's one of your kind. I advise you to confess now before the charges are levied. Then it will be too late. Think well, my son. Give us your confession. Confess? But to what? But I know of no crime. Only if that I've been brought to this misery. Imprisoned in your filthy cells. My son. My books have been burned. My son. These are your crimes, not mine. Gavin. I feel toward you as would a father seeing his child straying into evil ways. Confess. Ease your soul of this terrible burden of sin. Come back into the arms of goodness, and we will forgive. We will forgive. Trust in the mercy of the Supreme. Your words fall on deaf ears. Let me have you. Sir, this is my tribunal. Hold silence. We have granted you an edict of grace. Confess now of your own accord, and your only penance will be the names of others. Confess. Confess. Tell us with whom you have sinned. I am the heretic. Release the prisoner! 
prisoner. Release the prisoner. I am the heretic. Release the prisoner. What do you accuse us of? Us. No that. Then you confess that you have sinned together. You and Do you dare accuse us of sin? Fair is the sin. <gasps> Am I guilty before innocent? Am I to have no charges? Am I to have no witnesses? Grace has ended. Since you have clearly chosen to suffer, the Holy Office can no longer be held guilty for your bloodshed or your death. Don't worry. Your neat white hands will stay clean. We'll do the work. Soldier, your laws have no weight here. I am in charge of this position. You stand accused of heresy along with this other. Of forsaking our holy law, blaspheme and demonizing, and forgetting your vows to chastity. Of turning from our proper path, I have no fear of them, my son. Of following this black sorcerer into his false teachings. Of seeking your salvation through heretical thoughts. These are the charges. What do you plead? You are the guilty one. Unless we act, he will burn in hell. Heretics are bound for eternal damnation, and it is our duty to save them, no matter what the pain. We are right, and we are just, and only cleanse his soul. No more sorcerer. No more heretic. You call him a sorcerer and a heretic because he does not think as you? Well, then every free thinker is a sorcerer, and every sorcerer is a heretic! And are you a free thinker? Priest? Your Excellency. I wish to present a defense for this young priest. No. No. Because of his age. He is not to speak. You are not to speak. This has never been. He has never spoken before. And he is merely impetuous. An impetuosity was always a weakness of you. There can be no defense for heretics. But you must listen to your facts. You are not one of us. Would you just return to your own time? You people lack earthly reason. You lack earthly reason. <laughs> you break him because he is right to blaspheme. <laughs> The power is in the mind, in the soul. That's what you will never see. Blasphemy. In his mind, man can live on forever. Blasphemy. Oh, it is certainly the height of ignorance to condemn those who do not think as you. When blind faith supersedes logic <laughs> and fact. Child of the Enlightenment, I pity oh, you. Oh, pity indeed. You use pity to bring around hatred, destruction, and despair. Why do you think I followed his teachings? Why do you think I married with his daughter? Married with his daughter? You didn't tell me. You! If I have to speak to you again, these heretics will not be the only ones to know my wrath of God. You threaten me? You!
suspend it from your own. Man order. should be free to choose his own path. Circular discipline, David. This is a tribunal of darkness. Excommunication! This unholy inquisition is without goodness. It is a working from the blackest pit of hell, heretic. I cast you off. Then we cast you out. You blasphemize and do not repent, heretic. We can do no more. I only hope that when you taste the flames, and you'll be given plenty of time to save them. I only hope that in your last moments, Saved to eternal love. 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 You dare speak of love? Look at yourself. Look at your pompous rule. Look at your black defenders. You don't know the meaning of the word love. The only love you know is uh. wealth and power. <laughs> <laughs> is homunculus, created by him for his daughter's protection, and killed by the priest, and that my holy tribunal, and great grand inquisitor is his highest crime, a crime against the state. Therefore, he is under my jurisdiction. See, see, the old man is a sorcerer. He created this cretin for his daughter to watch over her wicked, evil, lustful way. Your tongue, old maid. Lust blinds you, it always has! Wait a minute. If homunculus was bred by her father, then she must... If he was created by that old man and not by God. The girl is to be on trial also. We have decided. The girl? Nothing was said about the, the girl. girl. But you told me. He's not alive. He must be dead. But he was alive. I saw it. Moving around. So, he couldn't have been dead. Unless the dead can rise. In my quarters, he told what me. What was said before is of no import. So, if he's not dead. I'll have no devil action here! Leave her be! Evil is in this room! Lucifer is among us! I have it. If the homunculus was not alive, then he couldn't have died when the priest killed him. And so the charges are erroneous, and he is absolved of any guilt. Burn him for heresy, not murder.
You've never been this far before. Go on. Don't stop. Go on. Go beyond. I know my own way. I don't need to go beyond. No. There's nothing up there. If it catches you, we'll kill you and they'll get another chance. Don't give them that chance. Don't make the same mistake you made before. Don't give in to your evil. Old man, what do you mean? It's this curse. Up there, you will never find your salvation. For ours. They won't give in to him. This will never end. And they trail to eternity. Not even the seventh child has a spine. Oh, Ben, My ink has yet to dry. Skin and wax. Not so different. So you're impressed with our little treasure house, eh, hey, soldier? 